Hi all, welcome to my channel. This is the fourth video on like design patterns and also fourth video on creation design patterns. Uh, today we are going to discuss about like prototype design pattern. In my previous videos, I have explained about like a factory, abstract factory, and uh, uh, what build a design pattern. If you have missed the videos, please go and watch those videos and come back here for prototype design pattern. Now we discuss about like what is prototype design pattern. It is very easy when compared to other design patterns. So, what exactly prototype? So, prototype is basically uh, a feature which is already proven. Let's say we have like a model uh, which is already in life, uh, which is created from scratch, and uh, where users are already uh, where let's say it's, it's a kind of machine learning model, right? Uh, so that is the first model which they built as a as we call it we call it as a prototype, like so where they are performing a, a different uh, uh, testing on the model. So a new people came, like new particular group came in the particular organization and instead of, uh, they also want to design similar kind of model with a more advanced features. Now what we, what they will do basically, they cannot simply create everything from scratch right? because it's a waste of time. They simply approach to the particular concern team who already designed the prototype and they will ask, they will take all the features and once they have the particular uh, prototype is ready and from there, they will build whatever advancement, whatever enhancements and also advancements they want to add in the for the prototype to build a some good product, good product. So, which means like a prototype is basically taking the every taking everything from the existing object uh, and create on top of that. That's simple prototype, right? Now let's talk about like uh, in our uh, programming terms, like let's say uh, why we create the prototype like because creating construction is a very costly for example a like construction has like very very complex object we need to pass like different different classes and that different different classes will 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 uh, call different different services so that it will create a uh, it will create a it will create a constructor object uh, next time if you want to create another object uh, with the same set of variables uh, instead of calling everything, setting everything, it not it might not be a good way of doing right. We can simply ask like a previously created object, hey object, like can I clone your object? Once I clone the object, I have I have similar kind of properties uh, with like you, so that I can create on top of that. That's nothing but a prototype design pattern. Let's see like uh, example like uh, design like general definition. Specifying the kind of objects to create using a prototypical instance and create new objects by copying this prototype like as we already discussed right We have one object which is nothing but a call prototype object and all other objects uh, Who wants to create similar kind of properties? They will basically clone the particular object and they will create that's basically called as a prototype object So the concept the so things we need to things we should take into consideration is like the concept is is to copy an existing object rather than creating a new instance from scratch sometimes something that may be include costly operations the existing object act as a prototype and contains the state of the object the newly created object may change some properties only if required like for further enhancements for further advancements the approach saves costly resources and time especially when object creation is a heavy process so these are the basic things which we need to consider when creating a prototype uh, functionality for our particular object. So we can create a prototype with the help of clone method. So before talking about the prototype, let's uh, let's see how we copy the general objects. Like, so I have created an employee. So simply I'm creating another employee too. I'm assigning that one. This is really a copying. Let's see with the execution. If you see uh, employee one and employee two, uh, like both employees exactly have same variables. Now someone can say, okay, I copied this object, but there is a one thing you need to understand. Now, now I'm running the code. Like if both are like, uh, if, if employee two successfully copied, right? Both are should both hash codes should be different, right? But if you see both the hash codes are same, it is not actually copied. It is basically referenced. That's why uh, this is not complete way of uh, building prototype. Now let's 
let's build our actual prototype so as we already discussed in the uh, previous lecture prototype object can be built with the help of clone object this is standard way of uh, cloning something right complete properties so that's why i have created an interface called prototype uh, and i am providing a single property called uh, single function called clone and the return type is also prototype like so i i am creating an employee class and implementing the prototype so that i am required to override the clone object right i am overriding the clone object i am returning the new so um, here what should i do i needs to provide whatever uh, till now whatever object was built for the particular employee object i need to construct here and need to provide the particular entire object right so this is nothing but a simple way of uh, writing a prototype object so in the driver class uh, you can simply basically you can simply use the clone method employee one dot clone here it was creating a new object you are type casting into employee and then and now employee to can change the behavior if they want and if they didn't want they can simply use the same behavior now when you are running this program everything looks exactly same now the hash codes are different like because both are like two different objects now both are like not related to each other this is the very simple way of like building a prototype object like so uh, and among creation legend patterns this is the kind of this is the one way of creating an object from the existing object other patterns which we learned previously like factory pattern abstract factory pattern and builder pattern where we actually creating an object like but here is like with the help of already created object we are taking that we are taking the properties and and uh, we are cloning that one like to add extra properties or like to process the same property to process the same object so this is the this is basically we call as prototype design pattern anyway i have shared everything in the in my github repository so you can refer those things like uh, Uh, the last video left for a creation design patterns called singleton design pattern i will upload it very soon so then we can start structural design patterns so till the till my next videos uh, please stay tuned please subscribe and thumbs up and share to your friends for now bye bye